we've already worked a bit with our uh, uh, standing waves, um, but we haven't really talked about how standing waves are created. They're created by this, uh, this idea of superposition, where waves that, uh, that occupy the same space, and waves can actually do that, they can pass right through each other, waves that occupy the same space at the same time, they add together. There is this principle called the principle of superposition that just says we, if we have two waves in the same place at the same time, we just take the algebraic sum of the displacement caused by each wave, and that gives us our total displacement. This animation is going to show what happens when a wave encounters a, uh, a fixed barrier. So we know that that wave gets reflected and it gets inverted from a fixed barrier. And so every time we have a high point with another high point from the two waves, the one that's going in toward the, the boundary and the one that's coming out away from the boundary, uh, we'll have an even higher point. We add those together to get a larger displacement. When we have a low point lined up with a low point, we'll uh, have, have cancellation going on. So we have a positive value plus a negative value. If we choose the, uh, oops, if we choose the, uh, the distances carefully, the wavelengths and the wave speed carefully, um, then we get this pattern where there's always destructive interference at the same spot. And we call those places nodes. And there's always constructive interference at the same spots as well. And we call those antinodes. So here we have our nodes. And then in these locations, we have the most vibration. And that's where our antinodes are going to be. Now this is an animation by a man named Walter Fent. I'll put a link in the description so you can try playing around with this. But it's really a pretty cool way to, to see how standing waves are generated.